Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards who's coming towards you in regards to love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, so let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love. Who's coming towards Gemini? Gemini. Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so first card we have is the Page of Cups. Is this you or them? Messages. Some of you are receiving messages, um, um, emotional messages, or someone's feeling emotional about you. Let me look at the rest of the cards. Tell me more about who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love. Oh, yeah. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Someone feel, someone's feeling emotional about you, like I said. Someone feels heartbroken. There was some sort of separation between you and them. Hmm. I don't know. Something feels weird, but let's see. Tell me more, Sperry. Who's coming towards Gemini in regards to love? Oh, okay. More, more emotions. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. You walked away from this person, or this person walked away from you. A separation happened, and I feel like this person is feeling um, lost, mm. hurt, disappointed, sad. All right, let me clarify. Spirit, tell me about this Page of Cups. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me about the Page of Cups in regards to who's coming towards Gemini. So we have, oh, okay, Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, someone wants to um, talk to you because they feel really bad about how things ended between the two of you. Um, they, feel, they feel really bad about the separation that happened between the two of you. Um, there's something about them wanting to apologize um, and wanting to like make things right with you, uh, make peace with you. How does um, Gemini feel about this person, Spirit? Let me just look at you real quick. How does Gemini feel about this person? All right, so in your energy here, in your feelings, we have the magician. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on, on your own life. Yeah, I'm trying to see what this person is looking at. It almost looks like a dragon. You can see the picture there. There's something about you focusing on like um, returning back to your power, becoming stronger, becoming like more successful in your life, leveling up. You're looking up. It feels like you see how this person's looking up in the card. It's like you're looking up. Like I feel like you're. You're not being bothered by this person anymore, or you're not letting this situation or this person bother you anymore. You're, um, you're manifesting 
bigger and better things for yourself. You're very determined to overcome your challenges and to um, create new opportunities here in your life or create more stability and abundance in your life. Tell me more about uh, Gemini's feelings, Spirit. Tell me more about how Gemini feels, current feelings for this person here that's showing up. Uh, oh, yeah, I could feel that. Five of Cups. I could definitely feel that. So, yeah, Five of Cups is definitely an energy of sadness, disappointment. It's crazy to me the way this person is feeling sad and disappointed when it kind of looks like they never even really tried, you know? Because they're showing up as a page two times, page of cups and page of pentacles. So it just kind of looks like they never really tried, you know? They never really um, were in this relationship with you. They never really put in any effort or or showed any care for for you or for this relationship with you. It kind of looks like you were the one um, doing all the work or you were the one trying to like keep this relationship together. You were the one trying to move things forward. It's almost like this person feels sad, but it's like they don't have a right to feel sad, you know, if that makes sense is what I'm getting here. It's like they don't really have a right to feel sad because they didn't really um, do much or do anything. I, I don't know if that makes sense. That That's what I'm getting. So yeah, with the Five of Cups, definitely an energy of you feeling hurt you know, feeling disappointed. Um, but with the magician, I feel like you're using all of that, you know, all of that pain and sadness, disappointment, and you're using it to fuel you towards progression and towards you being even more focused on your dreams and on, on the things that you want to accomplish for yourself, the things that you want to achieve, the future that you want to manifest. Like it's making you feel empowered now, like more empowered. Yeah. So it just kind of looks like you're pouring all of your energy into, into yourself now. And you're committed to to overcoming this negative experience that you went through. How does this person um, truly feel here about Gemini spirit? What are this person's true feelings for Gemini? All right, so we do have, interesting, the Five of Pentacles. Oh. Hmm. So this is why they feel sad and heartbroken. Because it kind of look, it kind of looks like they lost um, a, a good thing, you know? They lost a good person. They got they lost a good relationship. What is the deal with this person? You, are you dealing with someone who just never learns? Because I'm getting that. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's like very immature with the two pages that are showing up here and they just keep making the same mistakes over and over again. And then they keep wondering why, you know? That like, I feel like they're confused in regards to why they keep getting the same outcome. But it just kind of looks like this person is not taking the time to really, you know, 
um, analyze themselves and you know think about their their role in 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 why things don't work out. You know they don't really take the time to think about how they might have things that they need to work on, how they might have issues and faults or, you know, repetitive patterns that are negative that they need to work on. I feel like they they don't look at themselves. They just look at the situation or they look at the person that they're with. You know, they try to find excuses of, of why things didn't work out. And it's like they try to blame other other external things instead of, you know, looking at themselves. It's like they don't see themselves as the problem. They see everything else as the problem. But they feel like they lost a good thing with the Five of Pentacles. This feels also like codependency energy. Kind of looks like this person was very codependent off of you. You were, you were, sorry. You were someone who was giving them a sense of stability and security, and now that's gone. Now they feel, you know, homeless, so to speak. Now they feel left out in the cold and 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 unsupported and uncared for, unloved. Kind of looks like you were, you were giving a lot to this person, much more than they were giving to you. But it's weird, because I feel like this person still doesn't get it. Like they still don't realize how, they're, how they are the problem. Unfortunately, it, this looks like this person is going to repeat another cycle. I can already tell that they're going to continue repeating like the same cycle with with different people, you know. All right, what was I asking? Their feelings, right? All right. Let's see what this person wants with you and why they're coming towards you. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, show me what does this person want with Gemini and why are they coming towards Gemini? What does this person want with Gemini? Yeah, I feel like you're determined, you're determined to succeed. You're determined to to break free, to like, I'm getting like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Is that what that is? That might be what it is. Yeah, I'm getting like a phoenix rising from the ashes with that like dragon or whatever that is. You're determined to like evolve and transform and, and improve yourself and be better. It's like you're determined to increase your worth, is what I'm getting. To become even more valuable than what you, will, what, what you already were. Alright, um, why is this person coming towards Gemini? Why, what does this person want with Gemini spirit? So we do have here the, oh lord, the five of swords. What's in the world? What do you mean? Didn't I tell you, I just said, I, I told you this person looks like they haven't, they haven't learned like their lesson, like they haven't, they don't get it. Like they still, they're still in that same, um, I'm the victim energy. You know, everyone else is the problem but me type of energy. Be careful with this person, I would say, with the Five of Swords, because I feel like they're coming towards you, 
to to make it seem like they want to you know reconnect with you and make peace with you and um like make things right with you but i'm seeing something about deception here in regards to this five of swords energy there's something about them being deceptive All right, let's clarify. In, in what way, Spirit, is this Five of Swords going to manifest? Tell me about this Five of Swords. This person doesn't want... Okay, I got it. Thank you. This person doesn't want... This person... Sorry. This person doesn't want to see you doing better than them. That's why they're coming back towards you. They. That's what they want. They want you to stay at their level. They want you to stay connected to them, attached to them at their level. They don't want you to rise, you know. They don't want you to elevate. They don't want you to do better than them. So I feel like they're going to come towards you with a little bit of this. Uh, I'm getting like a manipulation energy here. Acting sweet and acting like they're sorry and they want to make things right. But what they really want is for you to not progress. You know? It's for you to not um, thrive and succeed and move forward. Okay. Tell me about the Five of Swords, Spirit. Clarify the Five of Swords in regards to what they want with Gemini. So yeah, there we go. Nine of Pentacles. That's what I just said right now. That's that's reiterating what I just said with the Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. You see, this is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as someone who is like abundant, someone who's um, stable, someone who has success, someone who's continuing to um, improve improve yourself. It's almost like they're viewing you as someone who has a lot going for you. Has a, they view you as someone who has a lot going for yourself. And if, if, if you're not stopped, you know, if, if they don't intervene, they know that you're going to um, be attracting a lot of really great opportunities and that you're going to continue growing and continue expanding. Because they see you as someone who has a lot of worth and they see you as someone who will continue um, increasing in worth. And that's what I'm saying. It's a, with the Five of Swords, it's kind of like they don't, it's like jealousy, you know, it's kind of like, like envy. They don't want you doing better while they're still in this codependency energy. Well, they're, they're in this energy of someone who can't really support themselves the same way that you can support yourself. Like they're more sh struggling, I'm, guess, I'm getting, with the Five of Pentacles. They're more struggling in their life financially or with their work, their career, or just emotionally. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a lot more codependent. They're a lot more unstable. So they just want you to, like like I said, they want you to stay at that level with them. Hmm. Okay. Let's see um, their future actions. Let's see. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what actions will this person be taking towards Gemini in the future, moving forward into the future? What will their next future actions be towards Gemini?
Okay. In their next future actions, we have the Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting a lot of consistency from this person in regards to them um, pursuing you. I feel like this person's going to continue attempting to reconnect with you or or reestablish their relationship with you because it looks like you two had a relationship but there was some sort of breakup here and this person wants to pick up where you two left off with the seven of pentacles so it kind of looks like they are going to um, be consistently um, trying to trying to pick up where you two left off Mm. Tell me more about their future actions towards Gemini. This person's future actions towards Gemini. We have the Four of Swords. It feels like an on and off energy, you know. I feel like this person's going to like you know, back off for a little while and be quiet and not contact you or not communicate with you for a little while. And then they're going to come back and try again to um, reestablish their relationship with you and and reconcile with you and, and pick up where you two left off. And I feel like you're going to reject them and then they'll, they're going to go back into like hermit mode and stay kind of distant and then they're going to resurface again you know i'm getting that type of energy as someone who's just going to keep going until they get what they want you know i'm going to clarify the seven of pentacles spirit tell me about seven of pentacles please in their future actions This person is going to try to break you, in other words. No, I, I, don't, I don't think, I don't like it. I don't think this person has hangman. Yeah, there's, there's something about the, them being patient until they get what they want. They're willing to, like, be patient about it. How are you responding is what I want to know. Because it kind of looks like you're not responding favorably. How is um, Gemini responding or how is Gemini going to be responding to this person's, to this person and to their actions in the future moving forward? How is Gemini responding or how is Gemini going to be responding? So we have the ooh, Queen of Cups, very intuitive. So you're very intuitive, Gemini. That's the thing. That's why this person can't deceive you or they can't deceive you again. Like You already know what's going on. You already know what this person is thinking and feeling or what they're trying to do. So they're not going to get far with, far with you for that reason. It's because you're intuitively picking up on their true intentions. Let me look at that. Tell me about the Queen of Cups spirit in regards to how Gemini is responding. You can see right through them with the Queen of Cups energy, male or female, doesn't matter gender, you can see right through them. All right, so we have the Three of Wands. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. We also have the Five of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to continue rejecting them. 
because I see it here with the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Swords. That's you rejecting them. Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. This is them continuing to, to try to like save their relationship with you and again, pick up where you two left off. But you, you can see them coming already, like you already know. You, you can see this person coming from a distance. Like they, they don't have you fooled. You're, you're ready for them. What are you doing, Gemini? Not sure what you're doing. Um, let me figure out what you're doing here. What does um, Gemini want with this person moving forward into the future? What does Gemini want with this person moving forward into the future? Are you trying to get even with this person or something like that? What does Gemini want? We also, okay, we have the Nine of Coins, the Nine of Pentacles. That's the single energy. Some of you want to get even with this person. You want to feel you want to make them feel rejected the same way they they made you feel rejected. I don't feel like you're doing anything like bad. I don't feel like you're doing, you're actively doing anything here. You're not actively doing anything. I feel like you're just letting the chips fall. You're letting this person self-destruct. Self It's like you're not almost like you know this person's suffering but you're not you're not jumping in to to heal them or to make them feel better. You know, you're not jumping in. You're kind of um leaving them yearning for you. You're you're purposely not showing any compassion. You're purposely not showing any compassion. You're purposely not being empathetic with this person because they weren't empathetic with you. They weren't compassionate with you. So you're just kind of returning the favor, you know? You're not doing anything to them. You're just um, letting the scales of justice fall into place, you know? You're letting this person get their karma. You're not intervening. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I see you continuing to stay in your power, stay in control, and you're continuing to thrive and um, succeed while this person seems to be sinking. They're, they're going in the opposite direction. They're going south while you're going up, up north. And you're keeping it that way. So moving forward into the future, you're going to keep things as is. You're not going to repair things with them. And you're just going to let them, you know, get hit with karma. You're not going to intervene. You're not going to show compassion because they weren't, they weren't compassionate with you. Okay. Interesting. That's what I see, um, Gemini. Yeah, the karma. I feel like something about karma. You're 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 letting karma get them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't feel like you're doing anything bad here. You're not like going out of your way to do anything bad towards this person. You're just you're just not doing anything. That's it. Like that's that's kind of like the way you're you're getting even, I suppose. It's like you're getting even by not doing anything. You know, by letting karma um, take over this person's life. Yeah. 
you're not going to be their savior or you're not going to be their mother or their father, you know, to, to that, that's going to help them and, and get them out of, out of this rut that they're in, that they're, and that they're going to be in this rut, this hole. All right, Gemini, I hope this made sense to you. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.